Okay. Hopefully this is working, I think. Hi everyone! Even though there's no one here, I don't think. I don't know how you can tell. I know nothing. But hey! Um, happy Mother's Day to everyone that identifies as a mother. Uh, whether you're an aunt, a sister, a friend, um, a cousin, a mentor, a teacher. Um, women have this nurturing spirit about them that just often causes us, uh, allows us, I should really to say, to fill spaces as mothers in people's lives. So if you identify as a woman and you feel like you have given someone the nurture and the support that they need in this life, happy Mother's Day to you. So uh, we're going to do a quick craft today um, that I think is really good for all ages. Um, it's sweet and it's full of a lot of sentimental value, which are my favorite types of gifts. So um, the craft, uh, if you saw the link earlier this week, some of the things you will need are soup cans. Hopefully you have some in your recycling bin laying around the house. Um, soup cans, glue, any type of glue. My favorite, happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> My favorite type of glue is um, Mod Podge for this, but we are in a pandemic and I was having some trouble finding Mod Podge. So whatever type of glue you use will probably get the job done. Good old Elmer's glue. And this is um, Elmer's Craft Bond. Um, you can use, it's fabric and paper glue. So, um, and then we will need crayons or markers, whatever you wanna use. Uh, colored paper, construction paper or printer paper. Um, ribbon, ribbon twine or rope whatever you have um scissors and fabric i love ankara prints so i incorporate it in everything i possibly can and um magazines so essentially what these are going to be are uh planters or office supply holders whatever uh with um pictures of mom or things that remind you of mom. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. So my favorite part of this craft is the opportunity to go through pictures. I think um, Mother's Day is a great time to do it. I love photos and I have a family who's done a great job at uh, recording things as well as taking lots of pictures. So um, here are some of the photos that I chose. Um, this is my young mother uh, i just like that picture because she's just in her cool breeze element and uh kind of re kind of reminds me of myself like i see myself when i look at that picture so i love that and it's actually in the house she lives in today um that is my beautiful beautiful grandmother who was uh devoted to her faith and i love this picture because um it's her it was uh the epitome of everything she was like singing praises that was her thing so i love that picture of her and then i have another picture of my that's my mother and my god sister who um before i came along was my mom's first example of being a mother and they have a beautiful very special bond excuse me that's my dog he likes to insert himself in these videos One second. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was my dog. He loves attention. So, okay, so of course we don't want to use these pictures. We don't wanna cut them up. We don't wanna mess them up. So what we're going to do is make copies of them. If you have Happy Mother's Day, if you have access to a printer, um, you can just, you know, take pictures with your phone and make a collage so you use less paper and uh, make copies of them. So I've got some copies of pictures and then we're just going to cut them all out. You can see those are some pictures of me and my mama, my grandma, my mom. Maybe I was like a couple of days old. I just love those pictures. They're very special to me. Um, so, but if you don't have a printer at home, that's what we're going to start with. So, um, what you can do is grab your construction paper, grab your crayons, grab your markers, whatever you have, and just have 
your kids or whoever's doing this because I do believe it's a craft for all ages make some drawings and just you know what you're going to wind up doing is cutting them out so but I don't know if you can see that happy mother's day number one mom and you'll end up cutting those out anyway so uh I'll show you some of what I did with something like that so here's one that's partially done we're going to work on it together so if you look closely you can see some of the drawings that we made and we cut out and um this is the version if you don't have a printer i took some things out of a newspaper that reminded me of my mom um things that i know my mom likes so just thumb through sorry not newspaper a magazine thumb through a magazine and see what inspires you um this one says black women my mom's a beautiful strong black woman cool i think my mom's pretty cool much cooler than i am honestly truthfully um this quote that said keep motivating black and proud uh the ocean because my mom loves the beach so oh and then i saw this cool line i was like do you remember your first hero and i cut it out because obviously my mother is definitely one of mine so what how do we paste this on you're probably like okay it's cool that you have this on there now how do we do it so <laughs> you're going to take your tin and then you will take this glue um or whatever glue you have and you'll add a little bit of glue in and just the tiniest 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 bit of water like literally like maybe like two teaspoons you don't want it to be a soupy soupy mess you kind of want it i don't know if you can see it like that consistency but if you find that you pour more water don't be afraid to just pour some off the the glue is dense enough that it'll just run right off or add more glue but a little goes a long way in this in this craft so again i'm taking some old magazines cutting some things out that i know my mother loves um so let's see what i have my mother was an educator for over like 40 years so i saw this cool little teach and i'm just going to find a spot on my can that's so tiny actually i might do that later so here's the last of remember i was telling you about our drawings for those of you that just got here happy mother's day you can make some drawings that you'll cut and clip out and we're gonna paste somewhere on our can so you just take this now I'm using one of these like craft brushes if you have a paintbrush at home that's fine if there's nothing that you think you have that like uh, will work um, I would say try a sponge cut up your a sponge and that should work um, and your fingers work too I know that's like it gets yucky but so you're just brushing it on um, you don't want to make it too wet because then it'll take forever ah, to dry. I'm just going to put a little on the bottom and then some on top. And you know, like I said, don't make it too soupy. And then now I'm going to take that teach that I was talking about. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, beautiful ladies. And I'm going to put that on there. And what else do I have? I have this big Africa. My mom has a dream of returning, and hopefully she and I will get a chance to do that soon. But it's very large, and it's covering up my other stuff. So I think I'll just put more of the beach sky <laughs> right here. I hope you all can see. Um, yeah. So I think... What I like about this craft, again, is like I said, it, it takes time, you're taking the time to think about what really matters to you, what makes you think of your mother, your aunt, your, whoever you're celebrating. Um, and you wanna really capture their essence in it. So even if you're not using your own home photos, um, you know, something like this, you know, I think it's really sweet. So you can see all around the different things and I would cover it up a little bit more but I want to do another one so you know even if some spots show it's fine it's still really cute all right so I'm gonna set that over there to dry it takes a little time to dry I will not lie about that but you can come back to it don't rush it 
So here we have a completely blank can. Um, and again, like I said, if you don't have pictures, you can use your uh, magazine scraps or you can use the drawings that we used or you can mix and match, do whatever, float your boat, whatever makes you feel good, whatever feels good. <laughs> um, for this one, I'm going to try something different that I didn't do on the last three. Um, and I'm going to use some fabric and I'm going to mix it with a whole bunch of copies of pictures of me and my mama and my grandmama and my grandmama's sister and all that. So, um, I guess I'll start with cutting some fabric. So I, um, when I'm crafting, I kind of just go with the flow again like whatever feels good to me i'm not like perfect lines the point of this for me is kind of just like to collage it out you know just like lay it on there and whatever becomes over it you know throw something else on top whatever you know so all right so i'm going to start with this now again the glue that i used for this one is a fabric and paper glue elmer's uh, fabric and paper glue so I'm not sure how it would work if you use just regular school glue but I will say that the school glue works just fine with your pictures and such so and uh, paper so so yeah I grabbed a picture that was my mom and I we went to Broadway to see uh, ain't too proud the temptations musical last fall, spring, winter, I don't know. They're all melting together these days. So I'm going to brush that on and then I'm going to add some more fabric. And you can use any type of fabric you like in the house, whatever you have. Um, yeah. The cool thing about this is most of these things we have around the house, but if you don't, um, I just did a, fa a Target curbside pickup, you know, <laughs> and I'm gonna paste that some over here I'm going kind of fast because obviously I don't want to be on here all day so you guys can get to loving on your moms and grandmas and aunties but yeah so again I'm just kind of really making sure that sticks on and it it'll feel weird it'll look like it's sliding but once you set it aside to dry It'll look really nice. Um, yeah. And if you want to, I'm a fan of mixing different prints. This was at a family reunion last summer. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you all got a chance to see um, with Girl Trek, Nikki Giovanni and Angela Davis talk. But, man, it was just, it was a great talk. Um, it's been a great week for women between Michelle Obama's Becoming and uh, Nikki Giovanni and Angela Davis as well as uh, Erica Badu and Jill Scott last night. It's been such a great week and they were just really talking about Nikki Giovanni said something about um, ancestry isn't about blood it's about what you love and um, that I find myself tapping into that in this craft especially when you're not just using the pictures you think about you know what it is that means something to to your legacy to your you know the memories that you and the people in your life have created you know those things are really important and really special so um yeah i think if you're sharing this time doing this craft with someone else you should spend moments discussing that you know discussing your legacy finding out who you are who your great grandmother was who your great great grandmother was if that's something you can do and if you don't know the library has recently posted some videos on genealogy and has a great number of sources that you can use to find out more about yourself because we all want to know well i do at least not all of us but it would be nice to know and feel closer to um, the ancestors that we might feel through us but have never had names for them so check those things out and you know yeah use this time to start a conversation around it around what you're doing and why it's important you know I'm sure um, every Mother's Day I think about like my mom of course but I wonder how she's feeling thinking about her mom 
and she's someone who I miss but of course that was my mother's mother and I know she misses her and we're a big card giving family we used to spend a lot of time together with my grandma so you know check on those people who are maybe missing the people in their lives let them know you're thinking of them and let them know that their spirits are still here with us and honor them always honor the ancestors in everything you do if you can okay so i'm about to wrap this up because i feel like i've been here for a while <laughs> but um so yeah this is not a finished product but when it dries it has a very cute look i think i might add some can you see that so yeah it's not done and there's a lot of gaps but um I like it. So anyway, I think once it dries, it'll be really nice. And I'll probably add some cow rye shells to it. Again, with this, get as creative as you want. Yes, I have ribbon and rope and things like that and flowers. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to add shells, if you want to add glitter glue, if you have pom-poms, whatever you have. Uh, you know, crafting is all about your self-expression. So go with that. And so, yeah, so I'm using this one as like an office supplies holder, but yes, it'll look so much nicer when it dries. Maybe I'll post a picture later. Probably not. But, <laughs> but um, so some other ideas of what you can do with it. I have these seeds. If you have some uh, dirt or you can just go ahead and pop them in a planter and give it to your mom. I think this would be a great gift for like an expecting mother or someone who wants to bear children in the future like planting your seeds I think that would be very symbolic or even your mom so she can watch the love grow I love that and then so this is one and the good thing about these they're aluminum cans so they'll last for some time you can put water in it you can use it as a real planter add your ribbon again I incorporated some of my own drawings as well as pictures there's my young mama and there is my mom and I, we're at a jazz fest. And I think there's a picture of my grandma somewhere in here, I don't know. But there's my mom and my grad sister. So I like this one, this one's my favorite. My mom actually did that arrangement because she's much better in that category than I am. And here's another planter that I made. So um, this one I really love too. There's so many stages, so much legacy in this picture. Um, it starts over here with my grandma. Again, that picture I told you I love of her. And then there's my grandma and my great aunt, my mom, and just a whole bunch of pictures of me and my mom. That's my young mom in our community that like we still live pretty close to, so it's cool. So I just took a plant, uh, wet it, and dropped it in here. You can repot a plant in here and drop some rocks in there. And then... Of course, we talked about we talked about this one, uh, which is just a collage of, you know, magazine clippings as well as your drawings. So there are all your options of things you can do with cans and how to do it and what you'll need. That's not my favorite, so we'll put it in the back. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's that's it's a pretty simple craft and fun to do and really sweet and will bring up some great memories so um i hope you've enjoyed i hope you have a wonderful wonderful mother's day and uh, continue to stay safe and stay indoors and all that other good stuff so hopefully i can see you soon at the npl all right take care bye